Hi, this is Tracy from Mindless Crafting, and today we're going to take these two simple brown paper bags and turn them into a journal. It's super easy, so let's get started. So this will be my second time creating this, and the inspiration for this came from Lene Creates. So thank you, Lene, for a great tutorial. I did mine just a little bit different, but um, the inspiration came from her, and she did such a great job. So here's what it looks like, okay? I just happened to wrap mine in some tulle. She had a button closure for hers. And so I just put a paper clip on there to keep it flat. But look how gorgeous that looks. Okay, you got your flap here. You got your pocket on this side. And I put a few of these uh, tea stained papers in here along with some of the paper that matches this. Thought that would be fun. I pulled in some other paper uh, like this here. This paper though with the uh, flowers and the key on it is from my um, from our Mindless Crafting store. It's a digital paper so you get it sent to your email right away. Here is a paper clip using the same digital paper. I wanted to kind of match. So it's a journal cover. And you see what I did? I did a hidden paper clip on that so it could match it. It looks super cute. Those hidden paper clips are so fun. I have some tea stain paper that was given to me um, in Happy Mail. Okay, how cute is that? So thanks to Serafina for sending me the tea stained paper. I've got a ton of it, so I'll be using some today. All right. Nothing like being able to use your happy mail to create something beautiful. So all these little papers, I just kind of put them in here. So and I just clip one of those to this, made a pocket closure here also. So this is what we're going to make. And then we'll, here's what the bag looks like, right? So imagine it doesn't look, this is what it looks like right now, but when we really spread it all out, it's going to be just as wide. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so you may not have this exact uh, size bag, and let me go ahead and measure that for you. I forgot to measure so fold it up, it, it's five and a quarter by ten and three quarters. Yep, five and a quarter by ten and three quarters. And so you may have something a little bit smaller. Um, I have the window open so you may hear a little bit of noise. So what we're going to need to do is we're going to need to cut this down. So let me get my trimmer. So one bag you're going to cut to 8 inches. Let me go and get the proper trimmer. Okay, so you're going to take one bag and we're going to cut it down to 8 inches. Okay, so we want to make sure we keep this part here. So you got the flap here. We want to cut it down to 8 inches. All right. Then we're going to take the other bag and we're going to cut six inches, but we're going to put it this way because we don't want this top part on that bag. But I have a feeling we could use this at some point, but for right now, we just need this part here. So we're going to cut it down to six inches. Okay, and these are the two pieces that you're going to need. You should have this and this piece right here. Then we're going to take this part and you might want to grab a bone folder for this. We're going to take this part here and I'm going to open it up. I'm going to need to flatten it out. 
Okay, so let me show you what it should look like. You see how that is? Has that area like that? That's what it should look like. Okay, so you're going to take the piece, the bag with the flap, and you're just going to open it up like this. And then you're just going to kind of push out the sides like that. You just want to be careful. And then you're going to flatten it. Just take your time. And flatten it out. I need to get it even flatter than that. So I'm just going to put this in here. And this is not a very thick paper bag. Okay, just work with it a little bit. flat as I can. Okay. Get a little bit flatter than that. Of course it doesn't want to work properly while I'm videotaping. Let me just turn it this way. That piece needs to be flat, flat. You see that? I want you to see all of it, okay? Okay, we got that part flattened. All right, you can see all of it. Because I gotta leave it in there so that you can see the part that might be just a little bit challenging. There we go. I see it now. Almost got it. Almost. I push it out like that. And I think it's because because the bag is a thinner bag that also but eventually you'll get it once you push it down and flatten it out so let's see I'm gonna make sure they got it good on there and it doesn't matter about this part because that's going to be covered up and so is this part I'm gonna work with it a little bit more Right, I think I've got it. And it's okay because that part is going to be covered up. You see that right there? And just that little tiny piece. But this is a thinner bag, so just got to work with it. It'll still work. Okay, that took a little bit longer than I wanted it to, but it's okay. I like to leave these parts in because you may have that same little challenge that I did. <laughs> okay, so now we're going to take this one. Of course, this one will be easier. I'm going to push it out. Okay, look how easy that one is. <laughs> And some of the bags are kind of imperfect, so. <clears throat> but I, I'm determined to use these bags and not let them sit in my craft room. Okay, so that's what you should have, just like that. Okay, so this will be your flap. Let me show you, that's going to be the flap for when you fold it down like this. Okay. So that's what it's going to look like. So depending on the size of your bag, your flap might look a little bit different depending on the size. Okay, so that's what you should have. And now we got to put it together. Okay, so 
I'm going to get some glue and I'm going to use my art glitter glue. And we're going to put the glue inside of here. Put it up there too. And I'm just going to bring this inside of here, just like this. All right, so that fits. So that gives you an extension on the bag, and you want to make sure that that's that it's lined up so it doesn't look crooked and it looks good to me. Okay, and then this part up here, and I'm not pushing it in a whole lot. Hopefully you won't struggle with this part <laughs> like I did. <laughs> but let me know in the comments. I got to make sure I'm not the only one. Okay, so you got this, and you see that now you have the fold now. Okay, so you got it like this. This part is going to fold up to here. So you get a little bit right there. Okay, and I know this is a thinner bag, so I have to be very careful. Now, there are some thicker bags but it's okay, it'll still work. Okay, and then this will flip over like that. So once you get this part, you are good to go. It's time to start decorating. Okay, so this is the beautiful paper that I'm going to use to cover it with. And it's just the same paper, but different color. So we have lots of different colors for you to choose from as far as the digital paper. And so um, you can choose this. There's some pinks, there's reds, there's blues. So you can pick just about anything to go on there. Okay, so let me just measure this again. Okay, so we're going to need to this down I want to leave a, a border okay so I'm gonna to have to cut this but I need the sizing so just shy of five inches right so this one should be just about just shy of five inches so I'll probably cut it to four and three quarters mm -hmm. so it'll have a border and of course you can see my doggy is not happy so about four and three quarters right I go to four and a half, but we'll see. And then on this side, okay, we've got it almost to what eight, a little, little past eight and a half. So I want to come down here since I want that border to be around it. Let me just see if that'll make a border for me. Hmm. Yeah, if I come down to about here, let's see. So about eight and a half. Eight and a half. Okay, so we'll see if that's going to work. All right. So I'm going to go ahead and cut these away so I can size them properly. One of the things you want to do is you want to make sure you get the part that you want on your journal. So if I want that key to be somewhere in there, placed here. Um, Maybe right here. Let's look at this again. So all of this is going to be glued down, right? All of this. We actually need to glue this part down right here. I forgot to tell you that. This right here is going to be glued down. Let's go ahead and do that now, right? Like I said, this is my second time doing this, but um, I wanted to show y'all a straight tutorial. We did one during a live stream, and I promised that I would get this to you in a tutorial. Okay, so now that looks better. And we'll measure this out 
in a moment um, but let's go ahead and get this cut down okay so let's go ahead and let me show you how we're going to cover this so what I decided was rather than have all of this be the same paper I'm going to do the inside in these two colors here so I found some paper that looked like a vintage colored paper and let me go ahead and flip that around so this will be for the inside and the others will be, and I'm going to have these have pockets because I really like the way she did that in her tutorial with the pockets on the inside. So I'm going to use these right here to cover this. All right, so you just want to make sure that this is going to be the piece that folds over with that key and then it'll cover it but it's okay because we're going to make a piece for this too we're going to cover that also okay so let's go ahead and do this and start gluing these down and i'm just going to use um, my art glitter glue for this Get right around those edges there. You can use whatever glue of choice you like. I like the art glitter glue. And I think it's going to hang on to this really good. So we're going to take this one and we're just going to put it right here. And I do want a little border. So and my doggie is barking. Hold on, I'll be right back. Okay, so sorry for that. I finally got the doggie to settle down a little bit. So she is not in the room right now. So hopefully, she won't be crying outside my door. <laughs> That's the one thing about recording and having pets, you know? You just never know. And so the people next door have a dog, so whenever they let their dog out, we can hear it, okay? Strawberry can hear it, and she goes crazy. Okay, so we're going to put this down. I was just lining it up, and I can move it around a little bit. And you see I'm leaving an edge here. This is where we're going to sew in the signature. So we got to make sure we have a, enough space in between that. So look how it's coming together already. Okay, so for this part right here, we're going to put, I'm going to put the flower right, right there. Okay, I'm going to leave a little bit of an edge. I need to cut just a tiny bit of this off at the top. So I still want that border around there. Yep, that'll work. Okay, so I'm just going to flip this around. I still want that border. Just go ahead and make sure I have it corrected in there. See if it'll work better like this. No, it won't. So I'm just going to do this right here. Flip it around again, making sure so oh, you know what? This will help that and one right right there. going to trace it here so that I can have something to cut. That's a little bit crooked, but guess what? I am a pretty good cutter. <laughs> so I think I can 
no one's going to see that pencil mark either. And this was printed off on a 90-pound uh, cardstock. So I used the Nina Solar White cardstock. Okay, let's see. Oh, I need this to have a little bit more of a border on it. And I should have blocked a little bit more off of here, but that's okay. I'm going to do a little bit more. So it's going to be just like, just like that. It's still got a border, so it'll be, it'll be just like that. So look how that's coming together. Pretty. Let's put our last piece on this side on. And then I just realized I should have went ahead and measured this out and did the other side. Do that inside part. Let me just look at this one for reference. See that? That's what happens when the dog interrupts and you forgot where you left off. <laughs> but it's okay. Okay, so this is what we got so far. So we need to do that one more piece. And there I see a little piece on here that needs to be cut. I'm just going to take that off a little bit. without cutting the bag. Okay. Okay, so that's what we have. Okay, so now we're going to take, we need another piece for this area here. And I could go with just a key on that area. Or I can take some of the paper that I'm going to use for this inside part. this right here. I think I'm going to use the key. Yep. Of course, I hear the doggy <coughs> again. <laughs> Outside the room. I'm just going to trace this out again. I'll just use this this piece right here and It'll be the same size, so. She is very, very attached to me. She shadows me almost the whole day. <laughs> you all hear her? So I'm going to cut this, and then I'll have to go ahead and let her inside. Room. I got a little blanket on the floor for her. Okay, so let's see what we got here. And that one is much better than I did that first one. And once you do a couple of these, you just get better and better at it. But you got to give yourself time to practice and play and size things up and make it work, right? I'm gonna make sure I got the edges are going to be down really good on me. So here. getting glue on my hands too and we're going to let that dry a little bit so we use a little bit too much glue but it'll be all right I'm going to let that dry a little bit and we're getting there we are getting there look at that we're getting there so I'm trying to clean up as I go 
Okay, so here are the pockets. These are actually, these are the inside parts. Actually, this side I want. This and this, because I didn't want to have all of it be um, that bright yellow, but I think this will kind of subdue it a little bit. And then I saw these, and I thought these were cute too. And this can be part of the pocket. And this, I think, is from a Stamperia collection, I believe. Okay, so that's going to be a pocket there. Look how the other side looks so pretty. That lace, but I'm going to use this part right here. And let's go ahead and make a little notch here. For the pocket. And Strawberry didn't like that sound. She just <laughs> looked at me like, what is that? Okay, and then right along here. So let me just go ahead and put this down on here first. And then we'll glue it inside. And let's do the other one. And just do three sides, okay? I've done four sides before, not focusing. Still using too much glue, huh? I need to not come too close to the edge on that. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and glue that down. And we're going to stay away from this little crease here because that's where we need to put our signature in. But you can use whatever glue you want to use. But I am liking the art glitter glue, even though I'm using too much. <laughs> okay, so we got our crease right there still. Just like to make sure. And right there on that side. And I don't mind covering this up. It's okay. Okay, I have a little pocket there too. Okay. A little bit of a pocket there. Oh, well, that closed up on that side. I'll have to, oh, there we go. Okay. And then here. And we're almost there. Line that up. It looks straight enough to me. I don't want these to look like super perfect. It looks good enough. Oh, and I forgot just now. That quick, I have glue on there. I needed to skip that little part right there. And I see a little bit sticking out right here, so I'm going to just cut that off. Just that little bit. It had those little jagged edges there. 
feel it. And that will work. And so we have this and this. And I keep closing it because I just want to make sure. All right. And so now we have these um, coffee dyed papers that my crafty friend Serafina sent. And so these are eight and a half by 11. And so they need to be in here like this to create the signature. However, they're going to go right in here, but it's too long. So I need to cut these down, right? So I'm just going to put these in my paper trimmer to cut these down a little bit. Just mark it with a pencil. I don't want it to be all the way out. So I'm going to probably bring it to about here. in my trimmer. Okay, so I'll be right back while I cut these down. Okay, so we're going to take our stained papers and now that I'm looking at it, once I cut them, I cut these off. So this has had some part of the staining on there and I, I really like it. Um, so I'm going to just stain it up again. <laughs> At least has something on the edges. Use use the distressed ink. This is so easy to do. You don't have to be neat about it either. What would y'all do with these though? Comment below and let me know what y'all would do with these strips. I am loving this paper though vintage look. I'm just stressing it up here. When I say paper makes me happy, it really does. <laughs> And it's perfect for these. Inside of this, look how that matches really pretty. Okay, so let's go ahead and get these together here. And you see how they're cut down? So they still have, the, they're slightly smaller. Okay, so I'm just putting these in between, right? In between here. So how many did I use? One, two, three, four, five. Five of those, okay. Six and seven. So we're gonna sew these in to here. So let me get my needle. I finally got a needle, y'all. <laughs> I was struggling on that first one without a needle, and I couldn't find my needle in my craft room, even with all the cleanup I've been doing. Okay, so let me just see what that's going to Oh, that's going to look so nice. It's going to look really nice. Okay, so I have a really nice crease on that. And let me go ahead and gather my stuff so we can sew this in. Okay, so what we're going to do, you're going to need like a needle like this. And I have some of these already, but couldn't find them. So I had to buy more. And you're going to need some twine and a pokey tool to poke right through the, the holes. To poke some holes into the spine. Okay, so for this... You want to make sure it's at least twice the size, but I'm going to make it a little bit longer. So one and two. So 
something like that. And then we're gonna take this and thread it. And this is much easier to thread. Look how big the eye of this needle is. Okay. okay, so now that we got that done, we need to poke a hole in here. So what I'm doing, I'm just going to hold this together like this, right? See that? Let's make sure these are together, like really good. Making sure that it's right in the center there. See if that looks good, if it's positioned okay. Once it's positioned okay, I'm going to look for the center here. And I'm going to poke a hole in the middle here. Make sure it goes right through. Just, there it is, it's coming through right there. Okay. And before you even do that, here's what I forgot to do. I need to clip this together just to make sure it stays in place. Clip there, or you can put a, um, A paper clip. <laughs> you can put a paper clip there too to hold it in place. Okay, so we got the one here. Let's just do this again. I don't know where I have a fourth one somewhere around here. I'm going to use one of my big clips because it's okay. All right now, we're going to put one right about here and poke that through. And be careful not to stick yourself. You don't want to put it close to the edge here. And then another one about here. Right in the center there. All right, so now we're going to take this and starting in the center, we're going to bring this right through. And make sure I have enough to make it go through, right? All right, okay. And then we're going to take it and bring it through this other side here. And poke right through there. I'm going to make sure I keep my papers together. Okay. Make sure you press those papers together. Okay, and we want to bring a little bit more through here than that. Maybe right there. About that much. And then pull it through. And I'm just holding it in place and pulling it through. And we don't want too much of that to come through there. Then we want to go across and over here to this side and just hold it together. I like doing this part. <laughs> okay, still want to have that there. And then you go through the center again. And I'm going to just make sure that's pulled tight enough. And then right back through the center. I'm just going to make sure I pull everything through. Okay, let's turn it this way. And now you want to have 
part of it on this side, part of it on that side. Look at that. Oh, I love seeing that. I love seeing that. Let's see. Yep. Looks pretty neat to me. And we can, well, let me tie it off first. So I have one side this way and one side this way. And y'all may have seen this kind of binding before. It's definitely not new. Okay. And then do it again. No, nope, I don't want to pull it through that way. Another knot. And it's like evening time and it, you know, nice and quiet right now. The dogs are fed, so they're good to go. Okay, and let me put my Gloria Wolf <laughs> pokey tool, that's what I call it, Gloria Wolf pokey tool, over to the side, because Gloria is the one who makes those. Okay, so let's go ahead and unclip it. So I'm going to leave it like this. I'm going to leave that little drain there. And look, we got it. We got it in, y'all. Oh, I love seeing this. I love it. Now you got all these pages that could be decorated. And we'll definitely be working in this from time to time. For sure. And so now you can use some of your stuff. Like if you're making this for someone, um, you can use some of the papers that you already have and make tags and pockets out of them. I like to kind of include the paper inside of this. <clears throat> I'm going to round this actually. Include some of the pretty paper that you used on the cover. At least that's what I like to do. But I hope that y'all have learned a little bit of something. I hope you're inspired. You had to work a few things out. <laughs> um, I saw these also. This is from that same Stamperia um, pack. Because I remember cutting these up. I believe it is. But look how pretty. Goodness. Put those in there too. This will make a cute journal gift. At least I think so. You can do something like that if you want to. Look how pretty that is. Right, you can put it in here. Here's some more papers. This is this looks like this was part of another. I think it's the same collection. Yeah, it is. Cute. Look at that. How pretty is that? This can go on here. And then you could put it in there. That's pretty. Wow, that's a gorgeous, gorgeous paper. You could also put some of your stuff. You can glue stuff in here. You can make a little pocket if you want in there as well. And then you got stuff like this too. This is from another collection, but wouldn't that be cute too? You place it somewhere in there. Look at that. That's from another paper pack. So much you can do with this. You can cut this down and put it inside of here. I think that would look really cute. Oh my goodness. I'm going to do that right now. <laughs> I'm going to do that right now. But yeah, let me know if you would love to see some other um, journal ideas. Put in the comments below. 
And let me know what you would do with these right here. Because I don't like to throw away anything, which is probably why my craft room is the way it is now. <laughs> no, it's getting better. My craft room is getting better. So let's see, this goes perfect because it still leaves a little bit of a border. Look at that. Okay, let's go ahead and move this out the way. Great way to use up some of your paper. You know, you got that paper that's been sitting there for such a long time. And why save it? Why are we saving those things? Use them. Have fun. Decorate with them. Look how this is all coming together. She sent me some of these too. Y'all remember these? Uh, hold on one minute. Let me get. <laughs> Y'all remember these? Oh my goodness. I remember these. So we can actually pull these up too. We can actually cut these. I could cut these down. And that could be used as a journaling page as well. Put that in there. Just filled with lots of goodies. Give it kind of a rough edge there. And if you want, you can take some of these and you can make a little border right there. Right, that key goes there, right where the key is. You can make a little band if you want. It's up to you. Just gonna make a border on that page. Just border the edge. Right there. Okay. Look how adorable that is. Is that not cute? And so I like to keep this, I'm not sure what the closure, if y'all would like to see me do some kind of button closure on this, let me know. Um, or a ribbon, I think a button closure would be nice, but let me know and we'll um, we'll do something with that. Do a border uh, button closure. I have to find my buttons, but <laughs> I just want to keep this flat for now. But I think this came turned out really nice. Look how the look at the different ones. I mean, I could wrap this in tool also. Um, maybe in some white tool. I think would look nice on there. Even a, a soft green tool. I don't have any. A soft green tool would be pretty on that one too. How pretty is that? Look at that, y'all. You made something. So yeah, let me know what you would do with these little pieces here. Let me know if you want uh, some other... Uh, journal ideas. I, I saw something with an envelope. Someone was using an envelope and I thought it was pretty cool. But there's so many different types of journals to make. I like these kind because I'm actually able to recycle something at the same time. And that's why I think I love this type of journals because you're taking something so simple as a brown paper bag and you're making it into something. So yeah, let me know if you want to see more journal tutorials. I had so much fun doing this. Now that I actually have my needle, <laughs> if y'all saw that live, it was not pretty. I actually have my needle now. So I can do, and it came in a, look, it came in a pack, a whole bunch of them on Amazon. Because the struggle was real on that live. But this is, this is what I used. Yeah, so let me know if y'all want to see more tutorials. Thanks for hanging out with me. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please go ahead and subscribe. And I'll see you real soon.
Bye.